the Joe Rogan experience. It's interesting to see you even just fuck around with your skateboard, just the way you maneuver it. You're so <laughs> you're so adept. It's w really weird, like you, the way you move your feet and just pick it up and. Oh, it's very impressive. I mean, it really is just at this point kind of an extension of my body. It seems like, and uh, it, it's. I guess it's weird. I don't think about how comfortable I am, and a lot of times we'll be in a city or something, or just like now, I didn't know where to park, right? So I just park somewhere kind of close and just I go skate. And I feel way better about doing that than like parking and then walking somewhere. And it just, you know, I know I can get around people and sort of be indiscreet and, and uh, stealthy. And wait, wait, indiscreet. Tony well, I'm Hawk just saying, on a like, skateboard is indiscreet. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. That might be the I most do get weird looks thing. for sure. For I get, sure. Yeah. Like, I get that... a lot of do a kickflips out from car windows. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. That's my curse that I, that I, <laughs> that's my burden I carry. I'm seeing these new skateboards that are, they look like convertibles, where as these guys flip the board, the wheels flip up and go to oh, the other yeah, side. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's sort of a phenomenon, sort of a, a social media thing going on. Ah, like, and, so you can see it in slow mo. Is that what it is? No, where the board is actually a contraption, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really understand what that is. There's, a, there's a select few people doing that. Yeah, and I've seen a couple where they actually have figured out how to make their board grind and then do a flip around a rail as they jump back on it. Oh boy. Yeah, that's it's very specialized though. I can't say that's a movement. It's just a few key people that How are doing it. How many bones do you have to break to perfect that? <laughs> when I see this dude sliding down rails, I'm like, "How many times do you fuck that up and yeah. snap a forearm?" I well, skating went through a different different waves of of disciplines basically, and in the early 90s it was all street, right? And so what I did was was vert skating, that was kind of dying out, so I I was skating street a lot too. And I realized I was not fit to be a street skater. The third time I rolled my ankle, like both ankles twice, then the third time, the other one, I was like, I don't want to do handrails anymore. This is not working for me. <laughs> this impact is, I'm, I'm not going to be able to skate anymore if I keep doing this. Yeah, I see these kids, like when you, whenever you go like near like a, a large office building that has a lot of outdoor space and you see them using the rails and stuff, I'm like, how many breaks can you have before, like? I, there, I think that... It's a little deceiving because people do know how to fall relatively safely from, from stuff like that. But they get addicted, right? They're doing that probably every day. Yeah, for sure. And, yeah. and it, there's, there's all kinds of different styles. So there's tech styles where it's more people are skating ledges and benches and they're mm. you know, flipping their board, grinding, flipping out, stuff like that, where it's low impact but super technical. And then there's just the stuntmen who are doing the big rails, the big gaps, um, you know, jumping fences and how did this happen? Like, what was like, wh how did it go from just riding a skateboard? Like, when I was a kid, um, you and I are the same age, but when I was, I guess I was probably like 11 or 12, I had a skateboard, I was just riding it on the street. Like, yep. all my friends would just ride a skateboard on the street. Like, what happened? Like, how did it get to be like grinding across benches and <laughs> railings? Like, I think there's a well, there's a pretty deep history there of how it got there, but uh. Skating was, yeah, just more like a transportation toy. And then it was really the, the Dogtown crew that took it to a new level where it was like, oh, you can use this to do aerials and skate swimming pools. And they were just trying to emulate their mm. surfing. And so then skate parks started cropping up. Skating got popular in the late 70s, early 80s. And then it was all swimming pools. And then uh, maybe like four years later, the skateboarding kind of started falling in popularity. The the skate parks couldn't get their insurance anymore because the liability was crazy. Oh, yeah. Man. And so then the streets became the skate park because there was nowhere else to go. And there was a, this. There were a few key skaters that, that figured out how to use, like, the urban landscape as a skate park. And then that was it. Like, it, it was <laughs> all bets are off. Skating kind of took off in the underground as the street culture, street sport. And then people started doing handrails, ledges, benches, stairs, because they just didn't have parks. 